Hey guys, it's Mandy. And Joan. And today I am going to be filming my Valentine's Day present. I got um, Olivia and she is an Our Generation doll. Her box is so big that I'm going to have to hold the camera while I film, so hopefully that's not too terrible for you guys. Um, here is her little name. I have um, Peyton with us over here. She is my first um, Our Generation doll. I got her about a month ago. Her hair is a big mess right now. She's one of the um, the dolls that has the hair that extends, so she's got a ton of it, and I just kind of threw it up in a messy bun. Um, but we are going to talk about Olivia today. She is very beautiful. Um, she has absolutely gorgeous eyes, if you can see that insanely beautiful color. They're like a hazel, like a light brownish golden hazel. Um, these are very similar from what I can tell to... Um, American Girl dolls, the only difference really, um, their mouth, they don't have the little teeth that stick out on all of them, and um, they're made a little bit differently, but they're the same size, um, they're 18 inch dolls, and Olivia comes with this pretty, um, like, let's get a better light on her, this pretty golden colored um, jacket, and a pretty purple dress that has, um, it's like silky, underneath uh, with purple lace and she's wearing navy blue tights and navy blue and yellow shoes. So we're going to take her out of the box so we can see her a little bit better. Um, John's going to take her out. While he's doing that, I never got to film a video about Peyton, so I'm going to talk about her a little bit. Sorry for our little selfie stick that we use when we film. But Peyton is one of the hair dolls. Um, I think they're called From Hair to There? I might be wrong. That could be something else. But she has absolutely gorgeous red hair that has these like stunning blondish highlights throughout. And she has these beautiful turquoise colored eyes that are just amazing. They absolutely blow me away. Um, this is not the outfit that she came with. This is the country chic outfit. It's like a silky white blouse with some lace and it has a... Um, a pink little shawl these adorable brown shorts that are like tweed with a little bow these are the reason I bought this outfit because I thought that the shorts were super cute and it came with these brown tights that you can see here these are not the boots that came with the set but I bought them because they have the pink and the brown and I thought that they were just so cute their clothes are really affordable and really cute um, a big difference between our generation dolls and American Girl dolls is the price um, American Girl dolls, I think, run for like 130 ish dollars. Um, these dolls for the regular dolls, they are 20. <laughs> sorry for all that. Um, the regular dolls are $24.99, um, which is what Olivia was. Peyton, since she's a specialty doll, since she was the hair doll, she was um, $34.99. So, still, like, you know, a fourth of the price of American Girl dolls. The outfits, there are, are two different types. There's regular outfits that I believe run for uh, $12.99. Um, and then there's deluxe outfits that run for $17.99. Plus they have accessory kits and shoes that are like $6.99. So um, this whole outfit cost me like 20 bucks. Shoes and outfit, you know, all together. And it's super cute and it's made extremely well. Um, just like American Girl dolls, they have soft bodies, and then they have hard arms and legs and heads, but their hair is so soft, and it's so beautiful, and, um, she's got little rosy cheeks and little mauve-colored lips, and she's absolutely beautiful. She's the one that I really wanted, and, um, we were out at Target, like, a month ago, and they had her in stock, and I was like, please, can we just scrounge up, like, what we have, and... Let me get her before she disappears forever, which is a good thing because I've not seen her again since. Um, but she came with this bow. That was her original bow. So, oh, we have Olivia coming. There we go. All right. So, if you want to take Peyton, we'll move Olivia over here. And I love their names. They all have very unique names. So, Olivia has really pretty... Um, dirty blonde hair as you can see here it's it's blonde but it has like some very light honey 
brown colored um, streaks that go through it. That's what I like about their hair. It's, thank you. It's very dimensional. It's not one color. It has all different colors, just like natural hair would be. And the hair comes in these little pigtails. And she comes with this adorable hair bow. It's a headband, actually, but has a little bow on it. And her eyes, like I said before, are just absolutely gorgeous. If I can. There we go. Um, she also has a little mauve colored lips and rosy cheeks. So she has this pretty little, like, silky um, blazer on. And I believe it unclasps and underneath it's like a strapless little dress and the lace detailing these are so well made and they have a little our generation tag and then she has these navy tights and these shoes are just like a plastic with like a little little like um I guess it's plastic also little bows um I really like this outfit I'm actually gonna do an outfit swap um I'm gonna put her in Peyton's outfit because the one thing about Peyton that I didn't realize, which I will show you, is she has the little dial on the back because um, you can push it to release the hair and you can turn it to um, pull the hair extensions up into her head so you can make it all different lengths. But because of that, the shorts fit really awkwardly on her. Um, they don't really um, fit over her little dial thing. So I needed a dress for her. So she is going to wear Olivia's dress. And Olivia is going to wear the country chic outfit. But these are just so beautifully made. And if you're a doll collector, um, I do recommend them. Because, again, they're between $25 and $35. And the attention to detail is phenomenal. They're just so beautiful and well made. I, I think it's cool that they, uh, the faces actually look different on them. They not, do. It's not too... It's not too uh, Often that you see, I mean, besides with maybe the American Girl ones, but to me, I mean, just from a male perspective, these are the exact same thing as an American Girl. <laughs> yeah, they're very similar. There are a few differences, but honestly, like if you want American Girl dolls and can't afford them, um, these are a great alternative. If you have a little girl who wants American Girl dolls and you can't afford them, they're a great alternative. If you want to see how your little girl would do with an American Girl doll, but you don't, you know, you don't want to put out all the money right away, I would recommend getting one of these. Um, and they do have the sleepy eyes, so when they lay down, they go to sleep. And they just have so many accessories. And honestly, if you look on any video on YouTube, nine times out of ten, people are buying the Our Generation accessories for their American Girl dolls because they're so well made and they're just... They're just beautiful and they're a fraction of the price so I mean I honestly don't think I'll ever have an American Girl doll because I love these girls so much and I really want to get um, a lot more of them and they even come with like a hair guide with how to do the hair which I think is a really nice touch um, and the boxes are beautiful another great thing about our generation doll that I want to touch on really fast is they um, work with a great charity that helps um, build schools and educate girls in third world countries. And every purchase you make, whether it be a doll or an accessory kit or, you know, um, an outfit, money from that purchase goes towards this charity. And this company is all about empowering young girls, embracing uniqueness and seeing individuality and, you know, trying to show that, you know, our young girls are the future. And I think that's really fantastic. So. Um, if you guys like this video and want to see more from Our Generation Dolls, let me know below. I am definitely planning on getting some other accessory kits and some more dolls in the future. So um, let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up if you love Our Generation Dolls. And please hit that shiny red subscribe button and join our little family. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys again soon. Bye!